Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is February the 16th. It is 9.30 on a Saturday morning and Lainey is up and at him. And look at the sunshine. Why would you not be happy on a day like that? So I'm up early. I came into town to get waxed and that's one thing I do sometimes for weekends is set myself an appointment to get myself up and out of bed. So I got up at 7.30, uh, had a shower, put on some makeup, I'm in my gym gear, ready for action. So Lex and I were away in the Cotswolds for two days this week and it was a very welcome break for us because I felt like I was getting quite overwhelmed. Um, I've been trying to drop some weight, having bouts of binges and anxiety and just not feeling good and I'm not going to sugarcoat it and pretend like I have been feeling amazing when I've not and I don't really care if people call me Moni or that I cry too much because that's just the way I've been feeling. I've been through a lot in the last couple of months. I'm not going to dwell on it and keep on harping on about what I've been through but it has kind of affected me negatively in my mindset and it's meant it's been harder to get back on track and I've been quite hard on myself but today I just feel a lot more refreshed I got to get away with my husband talk about things and just kind of sort things out in my head a bit more which just going to a fresh environment kind of refreshed my head and that's what I needed so today I woke up and I weighed in like the heaviest I've ever weighed in since living in the UK. I'm 127 pounds, but saying that I was away for two days in the Cotswolds eating lovely food and I haven't been to the gym for a week and I've done no cardio for a week. So that would affect my weigh in. I am a little bit disappointed that I have gotten up to that weight, but all you can do is start afresh. Like I could just give in and go, oh, I'm 127 pounds. That's it. I'm a failure, but I'm turning it around and I'm just going to say no I can get back to where I want to be ideally I'd like to get back to about 114 pounds probably in the next week or two I'll drop a significant amount of weight because most of it's probably just water weight because I've just been binging and eating crap and eating chocolate and just getting back on a healthy diet for the next week or two even without exercise will probably help me drop a lot of that water weight so you might find that um if you start a new diet or a new eating plan that you drop a lot of weight significantly in the first two weeks but be ready for that because that's normal and then you might plateau off like I, my goal is not to lose seven pounds in a week my goal is to lose a pound to half a pound a week steadily dropping the weight down until i get to my goal weight and i'm not going to set myself a time scale because i think that can also add pressure to it fair enough i have a few things coming up that i would like to you know look a little bit better for i've got some weddings some hem parties and you know it's nice to feel good and confident for those kind of things but don't put too much pressure on yourself because that's where the stress and the anxiety comes in so just set yourself the goal of week to week i've achieved this this week and if you have a bad day and you eat a dominoes and that happens just get back to it don't stress and this is me talking to myself as well because I have to tell myself these affirmations to get things done. It's very easy for me to tell you guys to do all these things and to be positive and then myself be actually quite negative. So I'm going to start treating myself like I would another person and a friend and talk to myself, my inner voice, have it be more positive. Rather than my inner voice being very negative and telling myself that I'm a failure and telling myself that I can't do things, I have to start talking to myself like I would a friend and tell myself that I can do things and that I am confident in my abilities and then we'll get it done. So right now I'm in the car, I'm having a coconut milk flat white, I've just had waxing done which wasn't that painful to be honest but not the most pleasant thing to have done first thing in the morning and I'm going to have this coffee on the way to the gym, I'm going to get my workout in and go home and, and today I am getting some food delivered because getting back on track means being prepared and I felt like the house has still been filled with chocolate and biscuits and all these kind of things from Christmas so remove all that and I have a Sainsbury's and a muscle food delivery so that should help me get back on track food wise if I have you know fun things that I can make for dinner and make it more inviting rather than always wanting to eat out and 
fulfill an emptiness or a sadness with food. If you're gonna do that, make it nice food and healthy food so that you're still reaching your goals. So let's go, get to the gym. First gym session in a week. I very rarely take a week off the gym, but I just wasn't feeling it and we were away. So we're getting back to it. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. gym and uh, Lex has pretty much been playing this game for <coughs> what feels like a lifetime. Yeehaw! Miss it. This is how I'm Like it's a now. beautiful sunny day outside and he chooses to pull the blind down. Give him my chew of tobacco and close your howl in your face. What is it called? Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm -hmm. It's taken over his life. <laughs> the, the fella's revenge. I don't even know what time he came to bed at. I had an early night. And when I went, got up to go to the toilet at three in the morning, there was no sign of Mr. Griffin. Shh. So I know it was after three. <laughs> I know. I knew, that's why I asked. You and your weak bladder. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I asked, what time did you go to bed? Because I knew you were going to lie and say like two I, or I, something. I knew it was a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a trap. Bailey. Are you famous now? Bailey and Roxy have their own Instagram page. They're we, famous. Um, They've got 144 followers. Yes, yeah. this is a, I will require a no. I Bailey will. now refers to herself as an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy, how do you feel about it? The whole well, situation? Well, I'm in it for the biscuits. Where's your collar? Why are you naked? Is this part of your appeal for your Instagram page? You're the naked pug. I feel like I'm being used and I will not be a part of this anymore. Hans Breeze has arrived and Lex is super excited about it. He's literally dressing a man. Don't you judge me. I'm judging you big time. Putting an outfit on a man. Might as well be a brat stall. How peaky blind is he? So our Sainsbury's has arrived and muscle food will come later. So this is what we got for our Sainsbury's. I kind of alternate between all the different grocery stores depending on what I want. I wanted some of these marshmallows and that's why I went for Sainsbury's. You can only get them there. The little sugar free ones were on top of my hot chocolate. My obsession with mushrooms continues. I've got these ones which are like a mixture of like loads of different ones. Matake, shiitake. 
I don't know, they taste really good anyway. And then my usual close cup chestnuts mushrooms. But I'm gonna fry them up with this miso paste because I had it in a restaurant last week for breakfast and it was like miso mushrooms and they were amazing. So I'm gonna try that later, maybe for lunch, yummy. We've got some pink lady apples because they're my favorite. We've got some butternut squaffles some leeks which you could also add to the mushrooms which would be really tasty got some celery sticks for Lexi's hummus got some samphire which I usually have with like fish because it's kind of like a kind of seaweedy but tastes kind of salty got loads of peppers for dinners spinach then we move on to some raspberries which you add to Kvarg yogurt. We've got some free range eggs, some of these, which Lex really likes, the Sicilian lemon cheesecake from Oppo. They have really good macros. Some goat's cheese, which can go into like omelets and things. Some double cream for the coffees. Full fat milk for Lex. And some coconut almond blend, the chocolate one, which I like in my coffee and has really good macros as well. Then we've got some treats. We've got the jammy Dodgers, which are Lex's favourite. Apparently you can't get these in the US. That makes me sad. And um, so jammy dodgers, the macros on them actually aren't too bad if you have just one biscuit. If you can stop at one, it's 2.5 grams of fat and um, 12.8 grams carbs, so not too bad. And then we've got the club orange. Now I get Lex orange flavored stuff because I don't like orange flavored and that's my way of resisting it. Then I've got this, which is handy for my handbag, just sweetener for my coffees. And then I got these for with poached eggs because they sounded really nice. And they're 22 grams of carbs, which isn't bad for breakfast. Uh, moving on to more breakfasty things, we've got some black pudding, some of the heck sausages, which I really like. I just cook them all up and then I just kind of eat them on the go. And then the pork and apple sausages for Lex. Bit too high in fats and carbs for me. Uh, I'm not really a huge sausage fan. When I have a sausage, I usually have a chicken one. Then I've got some asparagus, again great for water retention, I always say that. And then these, I clicked on them and then accidentally bought them. So they're an accidental treat for Lex because the macros on them are crazy. 13 grams of fat and 25 grams of carbs. Like yeah, Lex could include it, but for me, not so much. They're made with cream, Lex. Real cream? Yeah. Cookies and Idaho Valley Mint. Mm. Good. Oh well. Away these groceries and currently making Lex some protein pancakes. So I've used a banana, an egg, some oats, and some protein powder, and a little bit of Greek yogurt, and just made it up to pancake-like consistency. A little bit of bacon powder, and then some streaky bacon. So Lex is still playing his game. Um, I had oh, an empty nose and I had porridge for breakfast and now I'm having a very strange concoction for my lunch but I know it's going to be delicious. So I've got loads of different mushrooms all sauteed together with some garlic and some of the miso paste. So again it's something that I had in a restaurant recently. Miso paste from Sainsbury's. I've never even had miso sauce or anything or soup or whatever it is. But I have them sautéed together, then I've got a lavash pita bread, so low carb pita bread and 35 grams of the Eat Clean smoked cheese. If you haven't tried the Eat Clean cheese, it's amazing. It's only 3 grams of fat uh, per 100 grams and 37 grams of protein, so pretty awesome and it's really tasty. So I know it looks like a crazy concoction, but I love mushrooms. Lex doesn't like mushrooms, so he had a cheese toasty. So recently, I've been suffering a lot with DOMS, particularly in my legs. Now, for those who don't know, DOMS stands for Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. So it comes from a buildup of lactic acid after you train. Now this is completely normal, there's nothing abnormal about it, but um, I kind of go through phases of getting it worse times than others and I get it quite bad in my calves. Upon reading up on 
calf muscles and pain and you know just general water retention because I tend as well after I've had a salty meal I'll get um, swollen ankles and my feet will swell and just just general discomfort in my legs and just the lower limbs. From the research I've gathered that the calf acts like the heart of the leg so it's like pumping all the blood and oxygen around your legs and sometimes um, it doesn't work very well and um, so say you are in a sedentary job where you're on your feet but you're not really walking around so maybe you work in hospitality or something like that where you're on your feet and I know when I was in the lab I had that kind of a job so I wasn't walking around like the doctors or nurses but I was on my feet a lot standing and I did get a lot of pain in my legs and this can also lead to things like varicose veins and just like bad veins in your legs and thread veins and broken veins and I definitely have broken veins in my legs from when I used to work in the lab. I was looking up solutions to this and one of the solutions was to wear compression socks. So compression socks are what you see people wearing on flight and I always wear them because I do get quite bad uh, retention in my feet when I fly because it's the exact same thing as when you're on your feet and you're working it's just like all the fluid just gravitates towards your feet and just builds up and I get that quite bad when I fly so I tend to wear these socks which help kind of push the fluid up and away because they kind of compress the leg so it just prevents the fluid from kind of just settling in your feet and these kind of swollen feet you get. Well, I was looking up the compression socks and then I saw that Turtle, so Turtle is the company that I've worked with before who have the neck pillows, these are the travel pillows which I love and I've showed you before and I literally use this every day because it's so versatile that I use it to put my phone on, it's like a little cradle for my phone for when I'm like doing my makeup because I'm in my dressing room right now but they also do compression socks, so travel socks. You can actually wear these outside of traveling. Yes, they're amazing for traveling, but also you can wear them all day. So they say that you should wear your compression socks from when you get up in the morning, if you are gonna wear them for the entire day for a work day. Before you get out of bed, put on your compression socks because it just prevents that um, fluid going straight into the feet because then you're kind of like trapping it in there. So first thing in the morning. But for someone like me who isn't on my feet all day is my job, but for training purposes and for quicker recovery and less pain like doms in my legs I'm thinking that if I wear these socks when I train it'll help and also I'll be able to wear them for flights as normal because that's what I used to wear them for but their socks are really funky that's the difference so I contacted Turtle and I got them to send me out some so they sent me three pairs and they're just all like funky colors so we have three different designs and they have 19 different patterned socks and they're super cool and funky and I think if I wore them in the gym I'd be making quite the statement but how cute are they and the soles you can see that there's the compression around the foot on the arch and then it kind of becomes a little bit wider so it's like not like a regular knee-high sock a regular knee-high sock is not going to do the same thing compression socks are different and they do they are tailored particularly for this purpose of compression and um, but these are just a little bit fancier because obviously they've got the print but then also they've got extra cushioning on the toes and the heels and the soles so they're like a little bit it's like almost like double the cushioning so more comfortable to wear and they're breathable so I've had compression socks flight socks before where you get off the plane you take them off and it's a little bit of a sweaty situation down there but these are breathable and they're funky and now they come in like a variety of different sizes and um, small medium and large and I've got the medium ones because I have quite the substantial calf so yeah, you, you just you work out your size based on your measurements, which is around your foot and your um, calf. But I'm definitely going to give these a go, guys, and I'll link Turtle down below so that you can see, check them out for yourself, or maybe a gift for someone in your family, your mum, or maybe your dad, if they travel a lot, and you think they would like these as a little gift. They're about £19.50, so they are a little bit more expensive than a regular sock, but as I said, they're not regular sock. They have a genuine purpose and they might really suit someone who you know or suit you for your job. And you can just wear them underneath your trousers all day and no one would even know. And they just add to your comfort and help 
with recovery. Since pizza delivery arrived earlier and now we are on to muscle food. Last time my muscle food was predominantly meat based but this time I've gone all in on the snacks because I still have a lot of meat left over. I do have some meat to be topping up but mostly snacky type things. So I'm just going to take you through some of my favourite things and some of the new things that I'm trying out. So I clearly love these brave i've showed you these in so many videos and i love them the sea salt and vinegar but they also have these sweet ones which are like a chocolate salted caramel flavor so i thought i'd give them a go they're five grams of fat and 13 grams of carbs and um, they don't feel like there's as many in them they don't feel as substantial uh, 30 grams no they're 30 oh three grams five grams less but um if they're as good as these they'll be worth it yeah, these are four grams of four grams of fat and 15 grams of carbs. So the macros are a bit better on these fat-wise. I haven't tried these before. I've tried other Bear Bells bars, but I hadn't tried the white chocolate and I haven't tried the hazelnut nougat, nougat, nougat flavor. And anyway, I'd say these are probably like for a Rocher flavor. And these obviously exactly what it says in the tin, white chocolate and almond. Sound pretty good. Um, fats are standard kind of protein bar um 8.7 grams of fat 15 grams of carbs um quite a lot of polyols in there as well so there's only 1.6 grams of sugar and then 20 grams of protein pretty decent on the go snack i know these are a little bit higher in fat just one gram higher i've tried these before but i thought i'd give them a go again they're the low carb pen pass penne pasta and i have the low carb wraps which are quite good so i thought i'd give these a go again sometimes they don't taste quite like pasta but we'll see i really do like the collie rice and um, this one the broccoli one i use it in stir fries and to be honest once it's mixed through your stir fry you really can't taste the difference and you know you're getting your health in with your greens and um, we've got some dr zach's protein bread for mr griffin to fuel to fuel his gaming. We also have some of the lavash pittas, which I had one of them for lunch and I kind of forgot how much I love them. Uh, also these protein waters, they're pretty much just 20 grams protein, some kind of magic protein drink that Lex likes. I don't like them because they're rhubarb flavor, but Lex likes them. Um, I thought I'd give these a go. I'm on a bit of a bacon buzz, so I thought I'd try this chia seed nut bread. Um, it's low carb and for 100 grams it's uh, 19 grams of fat so it's definitely higher in fat it's 8 grams of carbs and 17 grams of protein so I thought I'd give it a go see if it tastes any good this is the coconut almond butter from Meridian and uh, I've been using this to make uh, almond coconut energy balls it's really tasty you kind of have to mix it through because as you can see or maybe you can't see but uh, the coconut has started to solidify on the top, so you just have to mix it through, but it's really good in energy balls. And then maple flavored syrup. Again, I use these a lot in baking, so I thought I'd give the muscle food ones a go. I tend to use the Walden's Farm, but we'll see if these are any good for baking with, because some of them, the consistency is quite important. Um, cacao nibs, I've never actually used these before. Obviously, vegan recipes, would use these rather than chocolate chips. So I'm gonna give them a go, see how I go with them. Then we've got some cacao powder. Again, never use this. I usually use just cocoa powder, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, again, just for vegan recipes, branching out a bit. Then I've got some flaxseed, almond, Brazil nut and walnut. And I just thought it'd be good for Lex to get some extra amigas in, in a healthy way that he can just add it to yogurt and stuff. These little, smoothies you usually get like a little free item with muscle food so if you put in an order above a certain price you will get a free little taster of something so these are my little free gift this time then we've got this chipotle ranch from Walden's farm and i do quite like this it's good for dipping these into so this and this is like snackalicious then over here i just um as I said, don't really eat a lot of sausages because of the high fat content, but muscle food do quite good ones. So we've got these 1.7 grams of fat per 100 and 12.5 grams carbs. And that's my problem with sausages is the high carb content because obviously they put a lot of um, crumb or flour and different things into it to kind of bring them together. So 
I will have them, but it will be on a higher carb day. We've got more of this naked bacon for Lex. Um, we usually have four of these rashers and I've got smoked and unsmoked and they are really good and they just crisp up really nice for breakfast for like poached eggs and stuff. We've got some protein pizzas. They do offers on uh, three for a certain price and this is my favorite. It's the kind of calorie saver one and it's a goat's cheese one, but you can add like chicken or ham to it if you wanted to make it non-vegetarian and add to your protein gains. We've got some chicken because we eat a lot of chicken. Got some bacon medallions for me because lower in fat and then my standard egg whites because I go through a lot of them and these are the kind of smaller ones and you can easily freeze these so I'll put these in the freezer and just take them out and defrost them when I need them so then you can just have a backlog of egg whites. So I get asked a lot whether muscle food is available in the US and it is not available in the US right now. It's available in Holland and in the UK. I think in some parts of Ireland you can get it delivered. I think it's just it might be just Northern Ireland but you can only get it there right now. But I will link them down below so if you're in the UK or in Holland look at you because you can get muscle food. So it's dinner time and it's time for a romantic dinner with me, Lex, and the Xbox. So there's definitely a, a third wheel in this relationship right now. I think we need to have an Xbox intervention for Lex because his relationship with this is getting quite serious. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents.